Hi, it's Annie Tho, and welcome to Sensing Vitality. Today, we're going to do a Feldenkrais lesson with working with the bumblebee. And I like to learn from nature in how to improve our movements. And we're going to be working with the shoulders today. And this is such a gentle lesson if you've had a shoulder injury or if you are just someone who has really tight shoulders or a lot of tension in your shoulders. This really opens your chest in a very gentle way. And all you need is a bath towel and make sure your bath towel is long enough. So I'm pointing this out right in the beginning. If it's too short, it makes it a little difficult. So you could use a tablecloth or um, something with some length, a sarong works very well. We're gonna head to the floor with your towel. And if you like, you can center it right below your head. I have a little folded towel for my head here that you can use or not for your head, a folded towel. You don't have to have one, but let's head down to the floor and we'll continue with this lesson for freeing up shoulder tension. All right, so there's a couple ways you can either kind of put the towel right centered around so it's on either side of your shoulders wrapped over the top of your shoulder and then just hold it as you roll back so that it's right in the middle or you can just lay it down like I mentioned before and have it positioned that way. So you're gonna start on your back with your knees bent Feet are hip width and a little bit wider apart. And again, if you need a little something under your head, not too high, but so your forehead and chin are parallel to the floor. Now, what we're gonna do is just roll to your right side, take a hold of the end of your towel in the middle of the towel with your right hand and grab a little bit of that towel to hang on to. And then make sure that the towel is below your elbow so you can pull it down and then leave your elbow on the floor and just bend your arm to bring your fist toward your solar plexus right below your rib cage. And now the shoulder is draped around by the towel. The towel is over the shoulder. And then you can just play with this movement of opening and closing your hand, it's like a wing. Yeah, this is where the bumblebee lesson comes in. The bumblebees have very short wings and a big body, yeah? And so relatively, we don't have very big wings when we have a fairly good sized body. So we can really connect in a way to this movement of the bumblebee. Now, this isn't exactly the way a bumblebee moves their wing. Actually, it isn't very much at all how the bumblebee moves its wing, but it's a little bit. And so you're going to move your hand to the center and now roll to the left and take a hold of the towel with the left hand and come back to the middle with your left hand. So now both hands are in the center and move your left hand a few times out to the side and to the center. All right, and then now let's bring both hands out to the side. Now, this is so easy. You're like, Annie, what is the deal with this lesson? Well, just hang on, <laughs> just hold on. We wanna make this very relaxed because if you've had shoulder tension, you've probably been working too hard with the muscles and we want to connect with the bones. So this lesson will help you feel your bones more and the muscles can relax naturally. All right, take a rest, let go, and lengthen your legs if that's comfortable, and now let's roll your head. So this will also help to relax your neck and relax all the muscles down the spine. So just rest like this for a moment. And resting is a time to clear your nervous system. So it really helps you let go and feel the support of the bones. And now bend your knees, bring your feet to standing and let's roll again to the right. Take a hold of the end of the middle of your towel. Make sure the towel's below your right elbow and then roll back, taking the towel with you 
And now roll to the left and take a hold of the left side of the towel with the left hand. All right. And now we're going to create this flapping motion, resting your elbows on the ground. Flap your arms like this, resting. And then roll your pelvis and legs, your knees to the right while you're flapping. But relax your arms and then roll back to the center and to the left. And can you just let the weight of your knees slowly keep flapping, breathing. Let the weight drop from side to side. This is so nice for your spine. All right, and it's natural for you to roll your head the same direction. So roll your head with this movement. Now come back to the middle for a minute and just rest with your hands in the middle, the knees are on top of the feet, feet are standing. Just rest in this cocoon position. All right, and now begin just this opening of the hands, resting those elbows. The whole time the elbows are on the floor and it's very relaxed movement of opening and closing the arms. But I want you to slowly, slowly make that a little bit faster without holding your breath, faster without tensing, a little bit quicker. Yeah, a little bit quicker so that it's easy to flap open and close. And now tilt your knees, tilt your knees to the right and just roll your head a little bit, roll your head and then come back with your knees and now tilt to the left and roll your head a little bit, roll your head and then come back and then let's rest. This is so easy. If it's not easy, then slow down the movement or stop and rest. But just let your body sink into the floor. And let your mind be quiet. All right, and now let's bend the knees. And this lesson, I could go on and on, and I'm not going to right now. If you want, you can check out. I've got a lot more lessons on my Patreon site that go greater depth into the bumblebee. And also the bear is another series a lot like the bumblebee. Okay, so now let's open and close your wings again. Keep them going and then take your knees to the right but your head to the left yeah very classic feldenkrais type of thing <laughs> and now keep flapping but take your knees to the left and your head to the right so it's just easy keep your wings flapping and this is one thing about the bumblebee is that they can roll as they fly their bodies can roll Imagine if our jetliners had wings that could glide on the fuselage in turbulence, yeah? That would be an advanced thing if the, if the fuselage could roll like this, but the wings could stay level. Yeah, so going side to side. All right, your head is going to go the opposite way, though. I got lost talking about the rolling. So your head goes the opposite way of the knees. All right. And now to have your eyes go with the knees, your eyes go with the knees. Relax as your eyes look toward the knees. And then please rest. And feel the contact with the floor. And roll your head now. Do you feel more of your pelvis bones, your shoulder blades, your arms? 
contacting with the ground. All right, let's come again. Roll to one side and take the middle of your towel. Make sure you tuck that towel below your elbow. Bend your arm, roll to the other side and take the middle of the towel. Make sure the towel's below your elbow. All right, now you're gonna roll everything to one side and then reach with the arm that's on top. Reach with that arm and then roll to the other side and reach with the top arm and it pulls your rib cage so that you come more onto the bottom hip. So now let's roll to the right and reach with the left hand, reach forward and see if you can come up to sitting in that movement. So let's sort of be coming up to sitting and that will be our bumblebee lesson for today. Let me know how you like this. I really appreciate you with your comments, with thumbs up and subscribing is awesome too. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Take care. Whoa.